Hey everyone, it's Yoslin and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own DIY stickers. This is really easy to do, so if you want to see how to do it, just keep on watching. Sorry that the lighting has changed. I went to go eat dinner, so... Yeah, but basically what you need to make these stickers are printed images of what you want your stickers to be. I have two pages full. And then you're going to need parchment paper. Um, this cost me only a dollar, so it's not that expensive. Scissors and tape. So you have your parchment paper on the table. And you're going to want to get your stickers, so I have these ones, and you're going to want to cut these out. So, I'm going to cut these out, and then I'll be right back. Here are all my stickers cut. Um, the way I made them look more like stickers is I made the white border, and I didn't just cut it right where it was at. And also, when cutting these, I recommend making the lines really smooth. That way, the stickers can look as best as possible. And so, now that we have cut the stickers, I'm going to swipe those to the side. And I'm going to use the tape. So, you want to get your tape. And you're going to want to put it on the parchment paper. When you do this, you don't want any air bubbles at all. Because air bubbles will make the stickers not look too good. So, as you can tell, I made it just smooth, no air bubbles. Or at least I tried to have no air bubbles. And I'm going to get a sticker and see if your sticker fits the tape most of mine do i'm pretty sure so i should be good so how you do this is you're going to lay them on the paper with the tape now on it and you're going to want to get more tape and you're going to want to open this up personally i think most people go like that and just stick it on all of them but i think what i'm going to do is to make sure that i don't get any air bubbles so I'm going to cut it ahead of time, move these to the side, I'm going to lay this down on the sticker just so that I can make sure that I get no air bubbles whatsoever. So I just repeated that step and now I have four of my stickers and I'm going to cut these stickers out once again. Okay, so you're probably wondering, well, how do these stickers work? Here I have this little scrunchy sticker, and all you have to do to make this turn into a sticker is you have to peel off the parchment paper, like so. And once you do that, it's a sticker. As you can tell, it's pretty sticky. I'm going to find something to put this on so I can show you guys. Okay, so I have this little basket that's full of all my scrunchies. And I'm going to put this little scrunchy sticker on the basket. And there you go. It sticks on pretty good. Um, the amount of stickiness depends on the brand you get of tape. Scotch tape is pretty good, so I'm not surprised that it's stuck. So as you can tell by these two examples, these do stick really well and work as average stickers that you would buy in the store. And it's really easy to do, so... Yeah, that's a plus. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!